Hello everyone, Seymour Better here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and tonight I get to do something for me. I'm cutting my new lenses. This is a new Progressive from Zeiss. It is the Light V. It is, I've been told, comparable to the Verilux X, hence the term V. And I'm going to put them into my Oakley 8149 Pitchman. This is uh, color 03, the polished clear in the 50 eye size. I'm going to take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. My Oakley hard case. My Oakley cleaning cloth that doubles as a carrying bag. The little Oakley on, emblem on there. By the way, I am in a very festive mood. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year's to everyone. And of course... By the way, I am an authorized dealer for Oakley, but I've just been told as a small independent optician, I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of each individual frame with prices on my website. So if there's a frame you want, just email me. The contact me page, there's a phone number there as well. Tell me what model number, what size and color. I will check on the price and availability of that for you. Of course, as you saw this fall off, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And these are the carbon fiber temples. Very strong, very lightweight. The keyhole bridge versus a traditional saddle bridge. This is a keyhole, almost like an old skeleton key in an in a old vintage door. And I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses and begin and get started for what I'm doing. Put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Now I'm up to number 2270, but I saved this one, 2020 because um, it's a symbolic number to me in my profession and I'll get back to that a little bit later but I figured what a great way to get started so the I'm gonna hit the start button a little stylus is gonna pop up go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality you buy any genuine authentic Oakley frame from me and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for your purchase when you submit the receipt that I provide to your insurance company or to your health savings account. Now that is the shape. I'm going to go ahead and move it on to the next screen and magnify it. I'm going to enter my pupillary distance which is 31 for my right eye the computer starts at 32.5 so I'm gonna tap the minus button a few times to get to 31 I want to raise the optical center height up to 25 and change the layout screen from single vision to progressive I wear the no line progressive multifocal lens so let me go ahead and take the other thing I really like about Zeiss they document everything and you're gonna well I'm keeping these but when I make something for someone else you're gonna have the prescription on there the right lens it tells you what model it is the Zeiss progressive light V I know that's too small to see 1.59 which means that's the refractive index of polycarbonate these are photo fusion blue so I'm gonna take these out of the packets I wish I had a uh, Crizal Provencia lens because this has the blue protect anti-glare which is clearer than Crizal Provencia but uh, I need to go ahead and get the lenses prepped I'm going to come down here the every progressive comes with laser engravings in there of which I'm going to put a circle on each one or a dot there underline that which means and that's the right lens come down here I'm going to use the layout these two boxes are, correspond with the two boxes there. Eslor uses circles, Zeiss uses squares. I'm going to put a dot right there. Do the same thing now for the left lens. Put a dot inside. The, I hate this pen. Let's use this pen. That works a little better. These new super hydrophobic, oleophobic anti glares makes it hard to write on. And this is the left lens. Use the layout chart. This will tell me where that'll go right in front of my pupil. Now, if you're just joining me halfway through, let me recap <laughs> and put it back. So the next thing I do is I take a tissue. There are there's yellow paint on this lens from the manufacturer. 
I always remove that before I cut. Now, generally because I don't want to use a harsh chemical anywhere near your frame, so I remove that ahead of time. Of course, this is my frame, but out of habit, I do that. I'm gonna, now I can, the reason why there's dots on there, it tells me that's gonna go perfectly. That black dot's gonna go there. The blue crosses the geometric center of the frame. My eye is just above that in inset. So when I put those on there, these, Zeiss has a six drop, Essilor has a four drop. Normally those dots are on the line above that. These will go on the very bottom line. Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need a block, two blocks. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them down here. The black side is the sticky side. Stick this onto the first block. Do the same thing for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to another magnet here in the arm. Now make sure everything is laid out perfectly. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Grab the left lens. Pupillary distance of 30. So I'm going to tap the minus button again a couple times till we get to 30. And there's a speck on there. Okay. That was throwing me off. Get everything lined up there perfectly. The six drop. Everything's lined up where it's supposed to go. And hit the button. Now, the other thing about Zeiss, like I was mentioning, the my prescription for the right eye, plus one minus a quarter at 137, plus one minus a quarter there, the left eye plus one minus a quarter at 17, plus one minus a quarter at 17, and of course, as I highlight here, that says Zeiss Progressive Light V 1.59, which is the refractive index of polycarb. I know I'm repeating myself. Photofusion Blue and the prescription. This too has the same thing. You can take this to your doctor. Next time you go for your next exam and the doctor asks what you're wearing, hand them this piece of paper. It too has my prescription on there. Plus one minus a quarter. This time it's on the bottom right there. The left eye is here. Now, because these are digital free, it gives me my PD, the height at which I will place the progressive lens, the base curve, my, my bifocal strength, the progressive power for both eyes. And because these are digital lenses, it gives the readout as the freeform generator prepares them. Plus one minus a quarter at 137 becomes point plus 0.99 minus 0.26 at 135. The second number, the you can do things in plus cylinder or minus. There is a plus and there is no minus sign there. You assume this, but it's 90 degrees away, 107 versus 17. Years ago, they used to put the astigmatism correction on the front surface of the lens. Now they put it, that's when it was plus cylinder. Now it's on the back of the lens, which is minus cylinder. But everyone gets this packaging. Everyone's going to get a Zeiss cleaning cloth as well as my own premium microfiber cleaning cloth. But that's the nice thing. Even with the Verilux X, which this lens is supposed to be comparable to. Now, I'm still going to offer the, all the Essilor products. I'm going to offer the, the house brands from Zeiss, which this is. But I'm also going to have the Zeiss Individual and Individual 2, which is the nicest progressives that they make. If you're... If you want to get the newest iPhone as soon as it comes out, you may want to stick with the branded Zeiss. These are the house brand. Same mathematical formulas for doing the algorithms on how they, they com generate the prescription into the lens. But if they, this is known as click fee. When you do a Zeiss lens and you have the individual two, just like the Verilux X, every time you use that lens and you engrave those lasings in there, there is a fee that you pay to Zeiss or to Essilor. They can get around that by giving you, I'm told, the same quality lens with the house brand, but they don't have to pay the fee to Essilor or to Zeiss or what have you. Even though Zeiss is making it, whoever, the, mathemat the mathematician or physicist who came up with the algorithm formulas for how they generate everything into the lens, if you put the individual two, they get a fee. They get the royalty. So... They've come up with the same ones, and they do it in-house. Now, this is known as the 
edger it costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone go out and buy their own put it on your kitchen counter then you can cut your own lenses at home and you will need this guy with the two thumbs and the christmas shirt to cut them for you the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away the lens material from this size down to this size this wheel in the center is going to put the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame I'm going to wake up the computer, job ID number 2020. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to smooth out and put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Press that on there firmly. Place Now the magnet's going to do a job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Free bad jokes with every pair of glasses sold. Hit the start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's ground tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Which with my prescription being far-sighted, being a hyperope, in this frame, you're not gonna, there won't be any edge thickness. But the light you see flickering is water to catch the optical sawdust that will that is jettisoned off the lens from the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now these are, as I mentioned, polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. They're high-impact ballistics grade. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. In their Oakleys, government-issued Oakleys, but it's the same protection as that. It has 100% UVA. In fact, Zeiss has the highest amount of UV protection you can have. All the other companies go up to 380 nanometers. Zeiss goes up to 400 nanometers of protection. That's why they have partnered with the American Cancer Society. No other lens offers you that much complete total UV protection that will help onset the onset of cataracts later on. This also has, these lenses have about 50% blue blocking ability before I put the Zeiss blue blocking anti-glare on top of that. So I get the maximum perfect protection. Now, this number I was mentioning, 2020, in my perfection, perfect, <laughs> in my profession, we deal a lot with that number. That's the average perfect vision. There's actually better than 2020. You can go down to 2015 or 2010, but that's the average perfect. Now, I've been dealing with everyone making everyone's prescription 2020, and next year, this is December 18th, 718 in my hometown. 2020 is going to be a different symbolic year for me. It's going to be a breakout year as I design my own frames. I've been dealing with everyone else's vision, making them 2020. I'm going to make 2020 my vision. And the other thing what is unique, all these years I've been using my eyes wrong. I have been viewing only. I'm now going to use my eyes as projectors. I'm going to see my vision of 2020 don't wait for your dreams to happen go out and chase them see them if you can if you can believe it then you can achieve it so see what you can make of yourself and that's what i'm doing so i'm going to tuck this lens in the outside corner press down the nose it snaps right in let's do the same thing for the left flip that over place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby and tonight it is called the seymour that's me. See more better. But call me Mo. Mo better. Because I'm going to be seeing Mo better, looking Mo better. And show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Now it's going to trace the left side this time. Making sure the lens is large enough. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left lens this time. Let me check something. Is this going? Okay, it is. It is. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, we can come down here. Don't worry, I'm going to take this camera off several more times. You're going to see me wearing these. So come down here, turn the axis wheel to 137. This is known as final inspection. I'm going to place it above that black dot. 
Oh, gotta take the recycling out tonight. Place the place that in there, read the power. I am getting plus one, exactly halfway between zero and two in the black, not the reds. Reds have minuses, blacks have plus. I am far sided. So I need four steps of correction. Everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one. I'm on the fourth rung of a ladder with my glasses off. Everything far away is much too small. So this will magnify, just like a magnifying glass, it will magnify one diopter. This is, how many diopters is this? It's a lot. So now once everything is the correct size, I have the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can have, but uncorrected astigmatism make sixes and eights look like or the letters p and f think of it as the fine tune knob but we're going to turn that fine tune knob from zero to 90 to 180 we're going to turn it to 137 for the right eye i have the same power in my left eye plus one minus a quarter but we're going to turn the axis wheel to 17. i have a plus two bifocal strength so if i were to go get over the counter reading glasses it's called the add because it means in addition to what's up there so you add the two and the ones together and i would need a three now, at the time of this viewing, let me check the second curve, and I end up at plus 75. That's because we started at 1 and subtracted 0.25 from 1. This frame, at the time of this video, the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon. There's a Pitchman R, but this is the carbon version. This sells for $233. The Zeiss Light V sells for $229.99. Now the Light V, I'm sorry, excuse me, the Light D, which you see me do is $149. There's a Light H, which has more computer room, so they say. If you spend eight to 10 hours a day in front of a computer, the H lens is what you need. That sells for about $189. And the Light V, which is supposed to be comparable to the Verilux X, which the Verilux X sells for $299. This sells for $229. The Photo Fusion in gray, brown, blue, which I have, are the are the Pioneer Green, as they call it, which is a gray green like the Ray-Ban Green. They're all four colors are $99.99, and the Zeiss Anti-Glare Coatings are less expensive than the Essilor Crizal. The the DuraVision Chrome, and actually, you know what? I'm going to show you all those in just a moment. I've got I should have brought the booklet over here, but that I've got the Blue Protect, which is again. This is $99.99. The Crizal Provencia is $119.99. And Provencia has a brownish yellow hue to it. Now you're seeing a little bit of the blue from my Photo Fusion Blue, the Transitions Photochromic. And it's a clearer lens than Provencia and is $20 less. I had to take those out of my pocket because I don't have a pocket in my Christmas shirt. Take the lens out and dry everything off. Pop that in there, take the block off, add to my, throw that back in there, add to my sticker collection. By the way, I call this my sticker collection, but this is my self of self accomplishment pile. Now, some people would call this clutter and they'd be right, but I've saved every one of those that I've taken off. When I left my former employer in my early videos, you saw me there in the much more cluttered lab. This is my first 11 months before I'm at my current location now. And this is my sense of accomplishment. Some people would look at their bank accounts. This is a daily reminder. This is gonna keep growing. I want it to be able to large enough that they'll have to build a second coffin for me <laughs> when they bury me. But whenever, this is just, you know, we all have things that get us through the day and this is it for me. This is a great reminder of everyone who I've helped, everything that I have accomplished. This is what I've done for the last 15 months, first 11 months in business, last 15 months. And 2020 is gonna be my breakout year with my own brands of frames that you will see me doing in the, in the coming years. Let me come down here and let me darken that dock because you can barely see it. That goes right in front of my pupil. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> All right, so turn the axis wheel to 17. Put it in over that black dot, and I am reading plus one. 
one step of astigmatism correction plus 75.75 my pupillary distance for the right eye is 31 for the left is 30 for a total of 61 turn the card around pick up the PD stick off the counter so that I can't do it from my pocket place it against the right lens and we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 61 optical center height of 25 to the bottom of the frame not the bottom of the lens but the bottom of the frame we're getting 25 same thing on that one ah, I try to put that back in my pocket but there's no pocket so this is the portion of every video that as I clean the lenses I mentioned there's free shipping by the way I'm also tax free I'm out of North Carolina North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device so there's no tax on medical devices so if you were to buy these glasses from anywhere on the internet someone else now the total price 233 for the frame 229 for the Zeiss Light V house Verilux lens comparable to the Verilux X photo fusion blue of course green brown or gray is 99.99 the blue protect 99.99 I don't know I'm saying that a lot aren't I for a total of 662.97 the state income tax here or sales tax is 7.5% so 662.97 times 7.5 if I were to buy these anywhere on the internet, it would be an additional $49.72 in tax. Nobody pays tax when you buy from me. Now, let me just, before I go any further, let me go grab the booklet of the Zeiss lenses, which I should have done. I'll be right back. Thank you. I'm back. Wasn't that quick? Now, Zeiss calls their own coatings DuraVision. They still have the pure coats and the other things as well. But this is their booklet they pass out. That all the authorized dealers get there is the duravision chrome which is comparable to Crizal alizé still has that greenish hue to it this is the duravision silver this sells for 69.99 this is the duravision silver we're getting into the blues just like Crizal sapphire it has less of a reflection than this one this sells for 79.99 we have the duravision platinum and I'll have a link on the website, excuse me as I went Peter Brady on you. I have a link on the website that tells you more about them. And this one is comparable to Crizal Avance. The DuraVision Platinum, which sells for $89.99, is comparable to Crizal Sapphire at $139.99. You just saved about $50 bucks with the DuraVision Platinum. And then the blue protect that I got, which is a bluish purple, is $99.99 to Crizal Provencias that I offered a lower price but you can see how clear those are. I wish I had a Crizal Provencia. It's almost a yellowish brown lens. It's actually going to be about let's see about that a little bit darker than that one but not as dark as this blue protect lens. So but these are all the blue blocking lenses. Now these are the mirror coatings that you can get. I'll have these on the website too. I'm rebuilding the website. But uh, these are all the mirror coatings. Really cool colors that you can get. You know, me being blue, this is, uh, I'm going to have to go with that bold blue. You know I am. You know I am. Now one of the frames you'll be seeing me make, I'm going to have green lenses in that one. And there's another one coming out that I'm going to put the red mirror in. Wait till you see those. Oh, let me put all these back. Chrome, silver, platinum, and blue protect. So, but as I mentioned, normally when I mail glasses and you get them, there's a small chance. Oop, I see another little black dot I need to clean off. There's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different. I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So if you get a pair of glasses from me and they're too loose or too tight or high on one side, just stop by your local place and they'll do the free adjustments. There's a 99% chance they will. If they say no, go to the next one and you've just won. So even I can do that math. But it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take off my Ray-Bans with my Verilux Crizal Sapphire lenses and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. So, I have the Crizal Sapphire, 
and my Ray-Bans I have the blue blocking uh, blue protect of the Zeiss lens and of course I have the transitions gray in here and I'm going to actually be getting some new Verilux green versus the photo fusion blue the photo fusion the Zeiss lenses are clearer inside but again let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing flip that over press down I always close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and then neither temple is askew like that now this is what it looks like while it's still clear and I'm going to use my Zeiss cleaning cloth to clean everything off and of course I send out a premium microfiber cleaning cloth the other thing about Zeiss even if you get transitions or you get tinted everybody gets a Zeiss cloth it doesn't matter what lens it is Crizal only does it for the Crizal coatings from Essilor Zeiss gives you one on sunglass lenses tinted it does not matter what you get I keep talking and stirring up dust but this is what they look like clear before I have activated them I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light and as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition excuse me photochromic to darken by the way Zeiss invented the photochromic lens they sold the technology to Essilor which they branded as transitions but it takes about 30 to 45 seconds to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 now the photo fusion and the Zeiss transition 7 and 8 do not turn dark in a car Essilor extra active and Zeiss photo fusion extra will get 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield all photochromic lenses are also temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above but I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside as I keep talking these are going to get lighter and lighter now please not only like this video but subscribe to my youtube channel so you can see future and click on the bell icon and you will get notifications of future videos as they come out you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter as free rx lenses if you have any questions again i am an authorized oakley dealer any doesn't that look good now the reason why i got the this color is because it matches the uh, wisdom highlights I have growing over my ears and I'll show you that in just a moment but just hit the contact me button on the website I have the phone number the email if there's an Oakley frame that you want just tell me what model size and color and I'll check the price and availability and get back to you um, you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below but again when it comes to prescriptions I am not limited I can do any power prescription that you want I can do single vision, I can do the line style bifocal, I can do progressives, I can do photochromic, I can do transitions, I can do extra active with the mirror coatings, I can do polarized, I can do polarized with mirror coatings, solid mirror coatings, and you can see as that's turning back to lighter. So let me give them one more boost and then I'm going to compare these to my Verilux lenses, although I should try that now before I do it again. Just while they're clear I'm taking off my Verilux X and for the first time I'm going to put on these oh that's nice that is nice holy cow man let me try something with progressives your best vision is through the center of the lens you're talking about peripheral distortion although that's still very good but I believe I have a wider field of view. I mean, literally, I can cut my eyes. You can't see it, but my eyes are going from far right to far left without hardly any distortion. I'm moving my head up and down. That is really smooth. Really smooth. Now, again, different frame, different size lenses, newer prescription, older prescription, different dimensions, different thicknesses, different curvatures, but that is really nice. So, again, this lens the Zeiss Light V sells for $229.99 it's supposed to be comparable to the $300 Verilux X and I really like it so far so let me put this in here give it a strong burst you can see how it's almost back to clear again so I realized that because I offer every brand of frame I might as well offer every brand of lenses I just love the fact that Zeiss gives you all this documentation and because when I first started selling on the internet I was wondering how people you know I was skeptical myself how would I trust buying something off the internet it's just so nice that I can provide all of that 
Okay, so here we go. Hello everyone, see more better here with my Christmas shirt. So I'm going to put on my Oakley Pitchman R Carbon. Hopefully my hair is okay after taking that off, but that's what it looks like on me. As I keep talking, this will get lighter and lighter. I'm using, yeah, I mean that is clear. I'm cutting my eyes to the left following this tracking. Oh yeah, now see that's why I did the carbon fiber to match my uh, wisdom highlights that I have. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Again, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon so you can see more of more of these lenses and new technology as it comes out. You'll be able to see as I introduce you the handmade frames that I'm getting made. And uh, if anyone wants one, you know where to find them at. Now, hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses.